Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Aether SX2, Skyline, and Lemuroid. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. Aether SX2, I would say, is under extremely active development. The developer of this app is constantly putting out bug fixes, improvements, and introducing new features. And today I've got some news for you that's no exception to that. Now since Aether SX2 is updated quite frequently, head to the Google Play Store here and just make sure it's up to date. If you're using an older version of Aether SX2, you're probably not going to be having the optimal experience. At the time of filming here, we're currently using version 1288. To find that out yourself, boot up Aether SX2, open the settings, and click Show Version, and it should tell you right in there. Aether SX2's developer Talrit does recommend sticking with the Google Play Store version for the best support possible. But if you're having issues running Aether SX2, or you're looking for cutting edge stuff that may or may not make it into the main emulator and may or may not be broken, you can always check out a special alpha build. Alpha builds might have some unexpected bugs, the performance might be unanticipated, but at the same time here you might get a sneak peek as to what is to come and something might work for you a little bit better than the Play Store version. As a perfect example of this, here are some notes from a current alpha build not available in the Google Play Store and these features may or may not make it to the main build. There is some very interesting stuff in here, for example support loading texture replacements. We just reported on this the other day for PCSX2, which was a huge deal. It looks like Aether SX2 will also be getting this awesome feature. So if you wanted to replace some textures in game, well, you absolutely will be able to. If you have certain HD textures for certain games here, this is going to be a really nice feature. Now, if you have a Show Me phone, Show Me, Xiaomi, I'm not quite sure on how to say that. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, if you have one of those phones and you were having issues with MIUI, it looks like those issues might now be fixed. I'll leave a link to this site in the description below. Feel free to check it out. These APKs are, as far as I know it, absolutely safe. And you can pick up the latest alpha build here if you want. If you have that certain Xiaomi phone with the MIUI implementation of Android, well, this might be very interesting to check out. Now, the entire way Aether SX2 is fixed on MIUI for Xiaomi devices is incredibly interesting. If you head on over to the official Aether SX2 Discord and take a look at the Techno Questions channel, you can see a conversation between Talrith, the Aether SX2 developer, a few other people and Mark. Mark is one of the developers of Skyline, which is a perfect segue into this next news topic. As you are probably well aware, Skyline is the best Switch emulator on Android, and it's still in very early stages of development. They've got Sonic Mania up and running, they're currently working on Celeste and a handful of other games. Development is progressing nicely, and the collaboration with Talrith here on the MIUI fix means that if Skyline runs into issues with Xiaomi phones, which I don't think they have any issues right now, they will know how to fix it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any other updates on Skyline at this time, but as soon as I find out more information, I will share it with you. Last up here, we're talking about Lemuroid. I've done a few videos on Lemuroid in the past at a really high level here. This is a front end for your emulators, kind of like Retroarch. But where Retroarch is complicated, Lemuroid is simple and straightforward. It's extremely beginner friendly and it's something I do highly recommend. Now Lemuroid hasn't been updated in quite some time. I was looking at it and I think on Google Play here the latest update is back in uh, September, I think, give or take, yeah, September 25th. So it has been a while and I was wondering if the project was dead or still going on. And I can tell you it is still going on. If you're currently using Lemuroid or if you plan on using it, I do recommend heading to the Google Play Store and opting in to be a beta tester. It's absolutely free, it's easy to do, and it's open to everyone. Once you do that, you can update here with a beta version of Lemuroid, and it's got a few new features. I don't have a change log for this new beta version, so I'm not quite sure on everything that has changed, but when I opened it up, I noticed that it did look a little bit different. When I loaded up my games here, they loaded up the same way as they did before. And when I booted up a game, I noticed that the settings button on the bottom right hand corner, you had to hold it as opposed to touching it to bring up the settings menu. That way you didn't bring it up accidentally in game. On top of that, in the main menu of Lemuroid, if you hit the settings button, well, that will bring up the settings menu and there's a brand new advanced settings tab. 
In the advanced settings tab, there's a few new options and also the tilt sensor sensitivity has been moved here. Honestly, I am very glad to see that Lemuroid is still under development and is still improving. It's a very, very, very user-friendly way to get into something like RetroArch. Or if you just wanted to avoid RetroArch altogether, this is an amazing alternative. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's easy to use. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today, whether it was Aether SX2, Skyline, which was just a little tiny point, but it was something you've been asking for quite a bit. I apologize I didn't have more. And also Lemuroy, just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.